An Oakland business owner ducks for cover as thieves carry out one of the most brazen daytime armed robberies we've seen. Tonight, how this shocking crime, caught on camera as you can see, could be the last straw for the store that's called Oakland home for 40 years. It's a story you'll see only on 7. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dan Ashley. And I'm Dion Lim. That violent heist happened at one of Oakland Chinatown's oldest jewelry stores. The damage done is simply remarkable. But despite all of this, the store owner says their vow to keep it open is stronger than ever. And they're pledging to move forward in the wake of this crime. No, please, no, no. The chaos and terror that unfolded at Fung Jewelry in Oakland's Chinatown Wednesday just after noon. It happened so fast. Is unlike anything the family-owned business has ever experienced in their more than 40 years in operation. We've been robbed, you know, a few times before, but not at this level of brazen magnitude. Eight individuals with, you know, two getaway cars and, you know, guns drawn. Watch as Tony Trin's 69-year-old mother Diane ducks for cover and screams for help as those eight individuals smash nearly every single case. With no security guard on duty at the time, her 76-year-old husband comes storming in, wielding a firearm, which scares the suspects away. If he didn't do that, then they would have just kept going. Their American dream and the majority of the store... At least like 85%, 90%. Gone in less than a minute. My mom was, you know, definitely devastated my dad was broken a devastating blow made worse after the family let their business insurance lapse due to rising premiums her entire life's work savings gone in a few minutes it is rough you know my mom is the leader of the pack and she's been running the business as she suffers i I kind of suffer through the same pain. Crime in the area is what prompted Tony to become executive director of the Oakland Chinatown Improvement Council. Despite what happened, he remains optimistic. I've seen tremendous progress, even though it doesn't feel like that. In terms of cleaning and safety ambassadors, there's a lot more out there with the night patrols and, and we have our walking police officers. During the pandemic, we didn't. But is he optimistic uh, enough to stay in business? We'd love to, it's just with the environment and how tough it's been. Um, yeah, we, we don't know yet. Diane says she'll be back to work tomorrow to send a greater message. We can't let the fear overcome. The only way to reduce crime is actually to have more traffic, more events, more people. So that way we'll have more resources. Strong Oakland Chinatown is a, is a strong town for you know every community, especially in Oakland. Oakland police ask anyone with information on this case to contact the robbery division. Now, because Fong Jewelry does not have insurance coverage, the Oakland Chinatown Improvement Council is running a GoFundMe to help. You can find a link to it at this story at our website, abc7news.com.